Hello, I'm Roger Faulkner, and I am the inventor of the inflatable vest respirator. Actually, this invention is related to several other inventions uh, that I had in the past that have to do with objects that move when the inflation pressure is varied. Um, I have ALS. I was diagnosed in 2015. And that has turned my inventive uh, abilities towards my own problems in a way. I'm, right now I'm sipping air from this positive pressure source, which is hooked up to a Respironix Trilogy 100. This is one of three positive pressure ventilation methods that I use. And uh, having reflected on all of the problems with these methods, I realized that something that had the functionality of the iron lung would be very desirable as long as it was portable. Of course, the iron lung is not portable at all. There is a, a type of ventilator called a cuirass ventilator. Uh, Hayek Medical has something on the market for the last 20 years. It hasn't made many inroads. It is very similar. Their, their invention has a lot to do with the iron lung and then it also has a rigid shell around your torso. It's basically just a much smaller shell than the iron lung. And in my ventilator, there is a flexible, expandable vest around your chest. The adhesion between the vest and your chest is because of a of a low and constant vacuum surrounding your torso. In the Hayek Cuirass uh, ventilator, the zone around your chest varies from vacuum to pressure. And there are foam seals between this rigid shell, which kind of resembles a turtle, a tortoise shell or so, around your body. As the pressure goes from negative to positive, it's hard to maintain those seals. It's difficult. Also, because the, the shell is rigid, and in my ventilator, the shell is, is form-fitting. It really fits like a vest. I'm trying to solve the problem of portability and energy efficiency to create something you could wear and walk around with that would help you breathe without having some, have something stick in your mouth like this thing. Or a nasal pillow, which is even more intrusive. So um, they often say that uh, necessity is the mother of invention. And I'm one of the people living with the necessity for ventilation help. My diaphragm is paralyzed by ALS. And this invention is critical to improving the lives of people like me. I think it would be very helpful. I'm taking this unusual step of having filed provisional patents and then more or less disclosing the idea publicly. That creates a situation where the patent can only be obtained by me. And I hope that that will lead to a partnership with a company with an interest in this kind of technology. Where I can really develop this idea. Otherwise, it would be forever non-patentable if I failed to follow up on the provisional patent by the end of the period I have it for. It's certainly an unusual tack, but uh, in view of my health situation, it's what I have to do. I hope that investors can see that it's a rather unusual situation. And uh, I believe the value of such a a ventilation methodology is pretty obvious to anybody in the field.